1972. Bob goes to Ronnie Scott's and he just starts talking to someone who's there who's a teacher. And he's sort of saying, well, I can't get anything going here. It doesn't seem to be happening. The guy says, I'll come and play at our school to our kids, you know, in Peckham. It's absolutely your sort of target area. So he does, and it was kind of a legendary show. The school I went to was called Peckham Manor. It's been renamed the Damalola Taylor Centre. One day, our art teacher, Mr. Keith Both, came in. Said to us, boys, I've got a great surprise for you guys. Johnny Nash and Bob Marley coming in to do a session in our technical wing. Most of us West Indian boys used to listen to Bob Marley more so than Johnny Nash. There are a couple of lads, I understand, that, uh, that will be coming down to the centre today who are here at that time. It'll be interesting to, to catch up and um, see how we've all changed after all that time. Hello, mate. Hello. I'm Tony Hagen. I'm George Dyer. Nice to see you. I swear these are the same benches we probably sat on on the day. This face looks familiar. Hello, Beth. How are you doing? How are you guys? Oh, I'm good. Come yeah. here. Come oh, here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's been a long time. Oh, same too, yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I saw the photograph of all of us as, as young men, and yeah. I thought, oh, don't we look so different? <laughs> Definitely, don't we? There, there was a little round stage there, and what it was, we all sat around. There was people on the, on the outside both sides but most most of us was actually focused at, at the front here around, yeah. wasn't it? yeah spirit book little darling steer it up yeah that do you remember the songs Bob and Johnny sung the one 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 was definitely steer it up I remember the steer it up but I can't remember the second song I think oh. I can see clearly now it was the second song so that's the one I went out and bought something extraordinary because I never thought some of the famous would have actually come to our school because um, everyone avoided the school everyone thought we were um, that's somewhere that no one wants to be we used to call the, the, the school Pekka Madhouse so the concert ended it was the end of the school day so we, we went yeah. out into the playground and just had a kick around because it was yeah. nearly time to go home and this was the, the, the tarmac playground it would have been around yeah, here, though, wouldn't yeah. it? They walked out from, I think, either one of the... Yeah. Either there, and they walked along towards us. I've been telling people for years that I play football with Johnny Nash and Bob Marley, and no one ever believed me. And a few years ago, the photos surfaced. Yeah, well, that's definitely me there at the front. No. You're not there. Where are you? Where no, are I, you? I'm standing back. I'm out of shot. I'm out there. Uh, that's myself with the, with the actual football, trying to um, play to keep me up um, with, with, with Bob Marley, having a look. And Johnny, I won't forget that smile, mate. I think some of the excitement you feel when you still go back and talk about Bob Marley and Johnny Nash came to our school, the, the, that still excitement is still there. As young kids, we were so sort of jolly about it. For George Dyer, now a bespoke tailor, meeting Bob Marley was a life-changing moment. I remember reading a story about Bob, how um, Peter and Bunny used to tease him in growing up, uh, the red boy. Um, so he grew up with his brethren teasing him about his complexion. And it's the sort of thing that I kind of went through because I'm of a lighter complexion. What a white man not doing or what a red man doing it. Bob was walking through the playground with his guitar. 
it was as though his eyes met mine and he just looked at me and he said, Menor, my Menor. Just as if to see that he could identify with, with what I was about. That's what I got from it, basically, is that he was feeling what I was feeling.